Uh, let's mm. talk about pets. We all love our yeah. furry animals. You've got <laughs> you've got a whole lot of cats. Uh, I do. I used to have a dog, um, and yeah. uh, you know, many people are using red light therapy on their pets, or may not even thought about that. So maybe can you share a little bit about that for cats and dogs yeah. and other animals? Yeah, of course. So this technology works on mammals. Period. <laughs> there you go. Pretty much any uh, So my cats at home, and I was actually kind of surprised. And I was like, okay, the litmus test for this is: will an animal like it, or will an animal shy away from it? So I tried that, and uh, I had a cat that was injured, and I uh, put the flex beam over the cat, and I kind of arched it over. You can use the bands that come with the device, right? So you can you can make an arch out of this. Yeah, and I, I placed it over the cat, and she loved it. She just sat there, super comfortable, kind of you know stretching herself and 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 chilling for the entire ten minute treatment time, and it really made me smile. It's awesome. So my cats at home, they use it, and they love it, and they go and sit through the entire treatment. And I use either protocol setting one or two for them. Three is a bit too powerful, for, for, especially for smaller animals. So for smaller animals, uh, one or two is fine. And um, if they walk away, that's also not a problem. Hopefully, they get a few minutes of treatment in. But it's, it's like with kids. It's the same thing. They don't lie. If it works for them, they'll stay there and sit there. And if it's comfortable, they'll stay there and sit there. And at some point, they stand up and walk away. And that's the subconscious saying, okay, I'm done. This is, mm. you know, this is what I needed. This is what I wanted. It, it came up to the threshold that I, uh, that I wanted. And that's a, a subconscious thing. And, you know, young kids, like I have a, a, a three-year-old girl at home that works that way. She falls down. She hurts herself. She takes the flex beam. She uses it. And then after four minutes, she's done. She walks away. Okay. That's good. That yeah. don't, and it's the same with animals put it on if it benefits them they'll stay if they feel i've got enough they'll go away and that's fine that's just right that's the thing that as adults we pay much less attention to we don't Mm -hmm. really hear that little bell wrinkling somewhere like ding ding okay this is enough you know we're much more rational and we are a little bit less in touch with that um you could say that innate feedback mechanism so right. this is what I noticed. And, and you know, uh, for my cats, they, they normally sit up the entire 10 minutes and they seem to really enjoy it. It's like obviously start purring even. It's, it's, uh, it's uncanny. It's really, really fun. And I have colleagues here, of course, that have dogs at home. And it's the same for the dogs. They seem to enjoy it. They, they sit through the full 10 minutes. They seem to improve. You know, if you have a dog, with, uh, let's say, an arthritic condition or it doesn't walk well or uh, got injured and needs to heal. This really, I mean, this works as well on humans as it does on animals. 